access to go to like Walmart. Um, this is a $3 area. You can get frozen fruits, um, Arby's french fries. I never had Arby's french fries. So we're going to go ahead and give those a try. Hey fam, welcome back, welcome back. Happy Memorial Day. Hopefully you all are doing well, enjoying and staying safe. So much have happened over this weekend in the area, not personally with myself, but definitely in the area. The crime just shot up over the weekend, literally. Um, like I said, that's why I stress, I think in another video, I stress staying safe, staying safe, staying safe. Because I know with certain areas, things can get hot when it get hot. All right, you guys, so I just came from... Dollar Tree, you guys, they're definitely raising their prices. They actually have the three, four, and five dollar out, but it's only in the freezer section. I'm gonna go ahead and share that video with you guys in one quick second. Y'all know I had to come home and type in Dollar Tree and see what's going on because I'm wondering okay, they add these sections to the store, but they don't have much to offer. So, why did they really take the time out to actually add these items to their store? what's going on so according to this article it's a dollar tree may be raising prices due to crime as profits fall so it's it seems as if dollar tree sales they're actually dropping just like every other store some stores are closing um you know because they're losing profits due to what if you said theft, people stealing, then you're actually correct. That's definitely happening. And if I didn't check in yet, this is Shauna, and I'm checking in over here at Moments with us. So you guys check in. Let us know where you're watching from and how you're doing this weekend. So yes, Dollar Tree, you guys, seem like they're they're definitely losing money. I'm checking out this article here. Um, a lot of stores actually already started adding these these plus owls. Um just like ours over here in our city parts of new well in our city parts of new jersey um over in orange new jersey they only added these plus sections like i said to the freezer which is kind of weird because i'm like wouldn't they add actual aisles throughout the store like are they trying to make these last minute change before the change really happened are they going to boost up their prices um i don't know i don't know if that's actually going to happen but it seems like it's something staring in that actual you know direction so it do say here the discount retailers revenue saw a six percent lift year over year in the first quarter hitting 7.32 billion dollars meanwhile the net income for the three month period y'all this is a three month period went from 536.4 million dollars to only 299 million now, that's a 44% decrease in the company. So adding these owls actually makes sense because they make sense. <laughs> makes sense because they do want to go ahead, they want to make some money, make some money. And in areas like like in city areas, um, and trans transportation is like it's everywhere, but not everybody gets on public transportation to go to walmart and stuff like that so they do rely on like these very nearby stores where places charge three times the amount for certain items so going to dollar tree and paying five dollars for this versus going to that corner store and paying ten dollars dollar tree would be the next best option closer to let's say walmart prices but they would make a come up like i said especially in my kind of areas at least um, but yes, are they really doing that bad that they had to last minute add these owls to these, to these stores, at least in these areas here versus where they already been? Cause I know like in the South and maybe like the Midwest, I saw videos on people showing their Dollar Tree and they actually have real dollar plus items, not something thrown together. Like what I'm about to show you guys, not something just thrown together like that. Cause that's some nonsense the way that they did that and then just slap the sticker up there that's some straight up nonsense um in other areas you see actual owls not just the freezer section actual owls of um home products clothing products and everything from ranging from two to five dollars but what they did here some nonsense so it does seem like i said you guys dollar tree is losing profits and closing stores due to theft and now what they have to do they have to raise the price so our average now dollar 25 item may cost us two dollars 
in the next year or so. So watch out for that. Let's go ahead. Let me show y'all what was shown actually in my dollar 25 tree. And then we actually have the full walkthrough coming up later on this week. So if you guys are not subscribed, now is a great time to subscribe if you want to see that full walkthrough. Let's go ahead and see what these owls, five dollar, three, four, and five dollar owls was looking like. We all okay. So this is okay. So this is the five dollar area. I see that they do have ice cream, ice cream available. I actually just got this Brian's ice cream here. I got that Brian's ice cream at um. I shopped right yesterday two for five dollars you guys so no 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 not not today so this is just some of the items that they do carry they actually have the nuggets ice cream the patties maybe these bags of patties are actually well worth it the tyson ones because they're about hold on y'all they're about like maybe seven dollars and change at Walmart. So something like that definitely is worth it. Now in a four dollar section, they do have the Klein Dyke um, bars here, the French fries, the famous seasoned French fries. We're gonna actually see how much that is because last time I checked, that jumped over four dollars in Walmart. They have the Red Baron deep dish pizzas here and some more pizzas. Um, these frozen pizzas did go up in price in a lot of stores, so this might be a great option for people who technically rely on these city stores where they charge a whole bunch of money for something you can get cheaper like at Walmart, but not everybody have access to go to like Walmart. Um, this is the $3 area. You can get frozen fruits, um, Arby's french fries. I never had Arby's french fries, but we're gonna go ahead and give those a try. They have waffles. One second, y'all. Yeah, never ever ever have I had uh, Arby's French fries. The Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls. You can probably get them cheaper somewhere else rather than three dollars. Definitely. You guys, I think my allergies are messing up with something because my voice has been going all day. They actually got dumplings at the bottom there for three bucks. So let us know so far if you guys think any of this is worth the prices. Whoops. And for $1.25, it's the basics. Actually, our ice cream sandwiches in here. Oh, wow. They got the Snicker bars. Those are good, y'all. The Snicker bars, the Twix ice cream bars. Y'all, I need to give up chocolate. I'm telling you guys, Davy, the chocolate, it gets me. They got these fruit pearls. This one's interesting. for dollar 25 strawberry banana okay fruit bites with pearls of frozen fruit juice okay that look interesting so let me know in the comments down below if you think that any of that stuff was worth the three four and five dollars you up well let me do three four and five dollars instead of like that um yes was it worth it let us know what you guys think do you think that dollar tree is going under and before they go under do they want all of our money first or maybe they're just trying to make a come up maybe they're trying to restore of course their losses but still the way they thrown that together like i said personally i think they just threw it together literally they just went in there Pushed some stuff over, slapped the stick on the freezers, and just threw it together. That was it. So this is the end of the video, you guys. This is Shauna. I'm officially checking out. Because Keon is getting a little fussy. So I'm officially checking out. I love chatting with... <laughs> oh, no. He, he just he just, he just doing, doing his thing. Um, I enjoy chatting with you guys today. But I'm officially checking out over here at Moments with us. Make sure that you all stay prepped. Stay blessed, stay safe, and most of all, remain beautiful queens and kings. Until next video, I'm officially out of here. Peace.